national hero and World War II Medal of Honor recipient Woody Williams. He would have been 100 years old on Monday, October 2nd. And that day is going to be so mm -hmm. special in Huntington. Even though he isn't with us anymore, his memory and his work certainly yeah. lives on because of uh, people like the two that we have here with right. us today and all of his friends and his loved ones. And one of his final wishes uh, mm -hmm. was to have a Gold Star Monument built in Huntington. And Monday, Mm -hmm. on what would have been his birthday. Yeah. That's finally going to happen with a, with a big ceremony and celebration. And um, we're so glad to have with us today Dan Ferguson and Dan Gooding to talk about what is going to be taking place if you are wanting to attend that ceremony. Mm -hmm. But uh, talk to us about the work that has gone into making this happen. I mean, this isn't something that, right. that just took place overnight. And Woody had a lot of conversations with you all about wanting to, to see this happen. Actually, Woody made this last request in my driveway, which I live five houses uh -huh. from the arch. And we were having a conversation. He said, I'd love to see a Gold Star Family's monument uh -huh. down by the arch. And uh, one thing led to another, and we put a committee together, the Southside Alliance uh -huh. ear spearheaded everything. Right. And uh, we put a committee together and started generating revenue and funds. And uh, my, I thought that when we got to the dedication, we'd have a circle of concrete and a monument, and that would be it. Mm -hmm. But if you go down there now, you're going to see sidewalks, uh, landscaping, lighting, uh, flagpoles. It's, it's all in, and it's been a tremendous task. But I got to give credit. All the credit in the world goes to the committee, the hard work that they've done. And it's just been an amazing thing. And excitement is building. Uh -huh. My phone's ringing just about uh, constantly. Oh, I bet. I bet. Uh, and it's going to be a celebration. It's not going to be a concert. It's not a carnival. Uh -huh. This is going to be a ceremony, a yep. military setting uh, ceremony. And you need to be there. It's it's going to be an awesome thing to, to witness. Yeah. It's Dan, history. Dan, you're, you were part of that committee that was approached, and I'm sure it was like, well, yes. What do we have is, to do to make it yeah. happen? Mm -hmm. Well, it was interesting. Uh, Dan came on the board of the Southside Alliance, which has been around since 2019, uh -huh. and is uh, primarily responsible, for example, for the appearance of the bridges, the new bridges right. on the South Side, as opposed to them being sort of routine uh, interstate bridges. Mm -hmm. Well, Dan joined our board uh, a few months, uh, three months I think it was, before uh, he came to us with the idea to fulfill Woody's request. Right. And uh, it, uh, it was accepted virtually immediately by our board of directors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a 15-member board. And uh, the next night, uh, uh, Dan and Kim Wolf and I went over to the uh, Park District board meeting. Mm -hmm. Coincidentally, it was the next night. Right. And within uh, a matter of a few minutes of explaining what the idea was and asking permission to do this, because they own the park, right. uh, uh, the motion came up uh, from Alan Morrison, as a matter of fact, uh, to proceed uh, and give unanimous consent, and that passed in a heartbeat. So we were off and running. Yeah. But, you know, you're looking at the task, and it's a lot of money. Uh, so we're, we're well ahead of $130,000 now. The mm -hmm. monument's paid for everything. But we have more to do. Right. And we also are going to continue to uh, raise money in order to maintain things. Mm -hmm. uh, flags will have to be replaced, or we may right. have a flagpole that's right. uh, damaged, the lights, things like that. And the park board's going to uh, continue their nice partnership with us on that. Mm -hmm. And well, if, if you have not been to this site <laughs> right. yet, um, you know, I had that pleasure a few weeks ago when we were doing mm -hmm. that memorial ride to, to help raise funds. It, it's just, um, there's a piece about it. Mm -hmm. and, and it's just, it's such a, a beautiful, a beautiful location. site. It is. And, um, you know, I've overwhelmingly heard from Dan friends of his over the years that have said, Woody would say this isn't about him. This is about those mm -hmm. that went before him and those families that have lost a loved one because but Woody came home, you know, and, and he made it his mission to, to help those families. Yeah, um, but I have no doubt bit. that he's watching this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, look at, look at the Woody weather. Yeah, uh -huh. right. Uh, the Woody weather report is, is outstanding. Yeah. I mean, he has followed us through this entire project, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and things have just fallen into place like crazy. It, it just is an amazing thing. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we're going to have a big crowd, and I think we need to make sure people understand it's important to block streets where there's going right. to be people walking, some elderly people. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's going to be some handicap issues. Mm -hmm. uh, so 11th Avenue West from Fish Street West to the Arch will be blocked. Okay. okay. The Memorial Boulevard from Fish Street West to the Arch will be blocked. Now, you can travel the boulevard from the Arch to 14th mm -hmm. Street West. Mm -hmm. And you can also go east of 5th Street West. We are going to have a TTA bus running from 14th Street West up to the Arch picking people up. Okay. So if you park down there, you're pretty far away, stand by your car, the bus will come by and get you. But, uh, you know, the ceremony is going to start around 10, and you, you really need to leave early to get there. Mm -hmm. 
we got some surprises in hand for for people. Uh, Senator Manchin is uh, going to be the keynote speaker. Mm -hmm. I mean, what we're going to have on stage is amazing. We got a, a United States Senator, a United States Congresswoman, and we got two Medal of Honor recipients that are going to be on stage. Amazing. We got Lee Greenwood, we got Jay uh, Mark McVeigh uh -huh. are going to be on stage. That's going to be a pretty neat stage. Uh, you yes. really need to be there to witness this. Right. Qu quite a lineup for yeah. such um, an important ceremony. And the Gold Star families, and the reason Woody said it wasn't about him mm -hmm. is that Woody constantly said the heroes didn't come home. Right. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, actually when he came back from the, the war, he went to work with a telegraph company and delivered notes to families where they had lost their, mm -hmm. their loved one in war. And he remembered the faces, he remembered the right. interaction with them, and that's why he was firm on starting the Gold Star Families right. Monument. It's all about a family that lost a loved one during a conflict. Right. And I know you're, you're planning on having a lot of those families that'll mm -hmm. be well, part of the ceremony. Yeah. The Woody Williams Foundation has every family across the United States and they have sent invitations to all of them. And I want, I'd like, I may ask for the one that's come the longest way and instead right. of giving them one yellow rose, may give them two. Yeah, I <laughs> think they deserve it. it, it yeah. it's, it's just, it's, I, I cannot wait to see this day finally get mm -hmm. here. Remind everyone what time this is all starting on Monday, where it's taking place if they are wanting to, to be in attendance. Yep. 10 o'clock Monday morning, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be a beautiful day, and it's Woody Williams' 100th birthday. We can't forget. We were able to right. achieve that objective to give him this present uh, on his 100th birthday. Yeah, and it sounds like the best way to get there is just go, as you said, park down at uh, West 14th Street and wait for the shuttle. That way you know you're safely mm -hmm. going to get there. And then get back. Well, you'll be able to park up and down the boulevard mm -hmm. to the arts. You got the horseshoe area, right. where, which provide parking. Right. You got the old Olympic pool field, which okay. could provide some parking. Mm -hmm. And there, there is parking east. You got the boulevard. You got 11th right. Avenue, 10th Avenue, and Fish Street West. Mm -hmm. So, it's it's going to be pretty tight, but. Uh, Bring a lawn chair, lawn chair, yeah. bring a lawn chair, and it, again, it's not a carnival and it's not yeah. a concert, so there's That's no, important. if you want a sandwich or if you need something, now we are going to be dispensing uh, water to people, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to have a little birthday party, we're mm -hmm. going to sing happy birthday, we've got cupcakes we're going to hand out, mm -hmm. and a few things like that. Soft drinks. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I know I, uh, we're planning a lot of coverage of this as well, we to are. make sure everyone can see it. We are, yes. Uh -huh. um, if you cannot be in attendance that day, we, we are going to be carrying that ceremony mm -hmm. live for you on our website, WSAZ. Com, and we'll have full coverage mm -hmm. throughout the day of what is going to be a, a beautiful, beautiful event. And, and again, I just, I'm just i so glad to see, to see the day here. Mm -hmm. And um, I know he's a national hero, but I think for all of us, he was a friend. And right. um, we just yeah. we, we love Woody, and, and his legacy certainly lives on in this way. So, um, gentlemen, thank you so much yes. for coming on to talk Thanks with for us today us. and for, for making this happen. Yes. Our pleasure. It's, it's our pleasure. Mm -hmm.